all the hype that the general consumer tends to give to the latest EV, operating alongside these new vehicles is the absolutely massive electric vehicle charging station market. It's this market that is growing at the same pace as the actual EVs themselves. In fact, a recent report by a group called Meticulous Research shows that the electric vehicle charging stations market is expected to reach a value of $103.6 billion by 2028. And the growth of this market makes sense when you consider the government initiatives getting rolled out to drive the adoption of EVs and their associated infrastructure. As demand rises for electric vehicles, so do driver worries like range anxiety. And what's a good cure for range anxiety? The ability to charge on the go. Enter charging stations. On the surface, there's not much you need to know. I mean, it's a plug, right? Like plug meets socket and electricity flows. That's pretty much the basics of EV chargers too. But dig a little deeper and you'll see there's a lot more to know. So consider this a kind of 101 course on charging stations. There are basically three levels of chargers that are widely available for electric cars today, and they fit into two categories, residential and commercial. If you own an EV and a home, you're probably familiar with at least one form of residential charging stations. In fact, the dealership probably gave you one or helped suggest where you could get one when you bought your car. Commercial charging stations are what you're more likely to find when you're out and about. Maybe you've seen them at the grocery store, a parking garage, or maybe a restaurant, or even where you work. These tend to be built to be more robust to handle the elements and typically come with software to help the owner track and manage usage and bill EV drivers tapping into their services. From there, it's important to be aware of the different levels. Level one charging uses your standard three-prong outlet you have at home. Ever plug in a computer or a microwave? Then you're familiar with level one. You typically only see this level of charging station used for residential charging because it just doesn't make much sense in a commercial sense. It takes far too long to charge the vehicle here. With a power level of something like 120 volts, you're looking at getting about five miles of range per hour, which can translate to as much as 20 hours or more on the charger if you want to fully charge something like a Nissan Leaf. Although keep in mind that I'm just talking in general here, so every model of EV is different. Level two chargers might be the most common today if you're talking commercial charging, and you'll also find residential versions as well. At a power level of around 240 volts, we're now talking about the energy level of something closer to a home washing machine. These machines are much faster than level one chargers and can take that same Nissan Leaf from empty to full in about five or six hours, supplying about 25 miles of range per hour. Then you've got level three chargers, which also go by the name DC fast chargers. And as the name suggests, oh boy, these puppies can really fly. With a power level at as much as 500 volts, you can take that Nissan Leaf from zero to full in around 30 minutes with a charging speed of 100 or more miles per hour. Now don't get tricked into thinking that a higher level charger is just better. In some ways, yes, especially when you consider miles of range that you'll gain per hour. But a big benefit of level one charging over levels two or three is the lower electricity costs. Level one also just plugs into a standard three prong outlet. So there's a good chance residential customers will be able to avoid the infrastructure costs of installing a new plug type. My name's David Sickles, and this is the EV Impact Show. See you next time.